see what happens. You let rock and roll into a respectable joint like the Outback, and the whole place is going to go to hell. Well, this scene involves your brother-in-law and mine. Tony? What happened? He got into a fight with Damien Smith. Fight? By fight, you mean like voices raised, admonishments exchanged, that kind of altercation? Tony slugged him. Good. <laughs> no, that's good. What was the reason? <laughs> well, if we're to believe Amy... Hey, a mouth as big as a great outdoors, but I've never known her to lie. I know, I know. Well, it seems um, that there's something going on between Bobby and Damien. Why do I get the feeling this is going to be laid at my doorstep? Look, you made it very clear to her that you didn't want her involved in any of this. Right. And she said she knew what she was doing. Maybe she does. Angel face. Dr. Mello punching people out. This is not an optimistic sign. Hey, little sister. Hey, Luke. I haven't seen you in quite a while. What's up? Oh, not much. Not what I hear. Oh, well, you want to start listening to idle gossip that's beneath you. Barbara Jean, can we... Ah, uh, Luke, I'm sorry, but, you know, I'm really kind of busy right now. <sighs> Don't guess. Say that I'm not your kid. What went on the other night? Don't worry about it. Worry? You claimed you could handle Damien. I am handling Damien. That seems to be open for debate. You aren't complaining when it got you information. Oh, zing, right back at me. I knew this was going to happen. Luke, it's under control. Under control? I don't think so, Barbara. There's an old familiar gleam in your eye, one I haven't seen for a long, long time. But I'd know it anywhere. You know, I am so sick of people throwing my past in my face. I am not the woman that I was. I have a family now. I have a husband. I have a really nice life. You're a Spencer to the core. Which means whenever things get too comfortable, you have a raging desire to screw life up. It's a genetic bonus, honey, from dear old dad. Speak for yourself. All right, I will. I'll speak for myself. I've spent the last ten years running from Frank Smith, trying to protect my wife and my kid. And now, you're about to crawl in between the sheets with his son. Oh, you are so far out of line. Am I lying? Am I lying? I am never going to do anything for you ever again. Hey, look, if you think your relationship with Damien is for me, then you're sick and you need some help. I don't have a relationship with Damien. Certainly not the kind you're suggesting. You're not sleeping with him. I have never cheated on my husband. How close are you, Barbara? I don't know what you're talking about. Well, then let me explain. This is not going to work, sweetheart. You see, you're off your game. In the good old days, before you got all respectable, you could have handled this. But you're out of practice now. You can't fake it with me anymore. Luke. And Damien I... is not out of practice. Damien is conning you, baby. It is one big, ugly con. You don't even know him. Oh, God. This is worse than I thought. You're defending him. I just happen to think it's pretty absurd to be standing here listening to you lecture me about right and wrong. I don't talk right or wrong. I'm not even sure I believe in it. I believe in truth. How big a thrill are you looking for here? I am perfectly content with my life, just the way it is. Oh, really? Well, you're skating awful close to the edge for somebody who's content with their life. But I understand. Barbara, I do understand. I need to be out there on the edge, too. But it's my impression that Dr. Tony does not stray very far from the middle of the road. Oh, please. Come on. You want to start making comparisons over who has the more rational life? I'll put mine up against yours any day. Oh, fine. All right, I concede. You win the microwave. But that's not the point. The point is you're setting yourself up to kiss this whole thing goodbye. 
And I just want to make sure that you're willing to do that for the thrill, for the rush of just going over a cliff. You know, you really make me sick. You've been rolling around in the mud with Frank Smith ever since you came back here. How dare you come here and give me this high and mighty act? Don't kid yourself. Dr. Tony deserves better. Oh, and suddenly you care. You've been making fun of the man since day one. I make fun of everybody. That's my way. But I like Tony. For some reason, I even like the two of you together. Look, this is none of my business, really. This is your choice. I'm just a witness to this train wreck. Barbara, please, all I ask is be honest with yourself. If you're gonna throw this thing away, be honest. Unexpected? What's the word from your father? No word. And I don't plan to be in touch with him. I'm expecting a message. Sorry. So did you get my message? I, I thought surely your sister would pass it along. She must have had other things on her mind. I told Bobby to tell you to stop using her to get information out of me. It hasn't worked. And frankly, I think it insults her. Do you? Well, you're wrong. I told her to stay as far away from you as possible. I guess Big Brother isn't wielding the influence he should. Hey, Damien, look, it's just us reptiles here now, just you and me. Level with me. It's a great big world out there. You could have women crawling out of your ears. Why my sister? You really have to ask? That's right, your brother. I guess you wouldn't see her in the same light I do. She's attractive. She's also married. Oh, yes, that. Right. What's your game? No game. You sure you're not trying to pump her, so to speak, for information about me, for your old man? You think... You think that's uh, what's going on with Bobby? That's, that's not my style. But, you know, it's interesting. You really do believe the world revolves around Luke Spencer. What's going on with Bobby has nothing to do with you. That's where you're wrong. Luke... This isn't the schoolyard, and your sister doesn't need you to defend her honor. Don't tell me what my sister needs. You make any more grief for her, and you're in for more trouble than you ever dreamed possible.